Today on 3 Minutes Smarter, we will be discussing Tim Ferriss' Tribe of Mentors, short life advice from the best in the world. For those of you who don't know who Tim Ferriss is, check out our Tools of Titans review for his bio. The link is in the description. But enough with the intro, let's become 3 Minutes Smarter. <laughs> Okay, so what is this book and why is it important? Well, everyone knows the value of mentors. Throughout our lives, we try to form relationships, formal and informal, to learn from others' experiences and perspectives. But forming these types of relationships isn't always easy. It takes a great deal of energy from both you and the individuals you're hoping to learn from. Tim Ferriss wanted to make this easy. He assembled a list of 11 questions and sent it out to over 100 successful individuals with names ranging from Gary Vaynerchuk to Brene Brown. This book is a compilation of the best responses. Okay, so what are a couple things I learned from this book? The first takeaway was a quote from Gary Vee, micro patience, macro speed. He refers to this when asked about advice he would give to recent college graduates. He says that instead of focusing on the next eight years, Focus on the next eight days. Some might think, what should I be doing at 25? And in the short term, the here and now, they're drinking three nights a week, playing video games, or binging on Netflix. In the words of Gary Vee, don't waste your days worrying about your years. The takeaway in action to consider is look at your future decisions, but stay present. Milk every day for every second that it provides. The next takeaway was from Steve Aoki, a two-time Grammy-nominated producer slash DJ and all-around entrepreneur. He averages over 250 tour dates each year. He's always on the road. I don't know about you, but when I travel, I find it difficult to find and stick to a daily routine. Aoki combats this through the creation of an accountability group with those he travels with. He utilizes a group chat where everyone can prove they completed a certain workout or maintained a healthy diet for the day. If individuals don't meet their goals, they are financially penalized, all proceeds going to a nonprofit specializing in brain research. The takeaway is to find a group of individuals you care about and create a group structure to hold each other accountable. This way you can all improve your quality of life together. The final takeaway from this book is a question that Ferris asked of all participants. How to best say no? Often we're inundated in our personal and professional lives with requests to help with something. Many times these requests can throw us off track or cause undue stress. There are a lot of great responses to this question in this book. Responses that will provide major benefits to you. So check out the link in the description to get a great deal on a copy for your personal collection. We hope you found the last three minutes beneficial. Please visit our website at www.3minutesmarter.com for free bonus material following this episode. If you want to purchase a copy of this book for your personal collection, click the link in the description for a great deal. And don't forget to subscribe and like for more great content. Thank you for becoming 3 Minutes Smarter.